Today, I'm going to show you how to cut out hair using the brush tool. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is going to be great for those of you guys who want to cut someone out of the background. And this happens all the time. Maybe you want to put them like on a clean white background for like an ad or something like that or you want to put them on a totally new background for a composite photo. Now one of the most difficult parts about cutting a person out is dealing with their hair. There are a bunch of different ways to cut people's hair out of the background. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create a custom brush that you can then use to cut someone's hair out of the background. It's really easy to do. And you're going to be able to do this with multiple types of hair. We got a great episode, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Okay, so here's our subject for today. Now, we want to cut him out of the background. And when you think about cutting a person out of their background, usually you think about it in two separate parts. So one is going to be their body and two is going to be the hair. And the reason you want to think about them separately is because the edge of the subject here, you can see it's a relatively hard edge here. It's relatively easy to cut out, especially if you're familiar with using the pen tool. And if you're not familiar with using the pen tool, you can click in the description right down below. We've got a great episode on how to use the pen tool and you can use that to cut your subject out of the background. Now, that takes care of anywhere that has like a hard edge, like around your subject. The hair is going to require a different treatment because as you can see, we've got a bunch of different hairs kind of going everywhere here. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a custom brush that's going to allow us to cut the hair out of the background. This is really cool. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and zoom into our image a little bit. We're going to create a new layer. Okay, and then I'm going to hit B for the brush tool. And my goal here is to create a brush uh, basically a brush stroke that looks like one individual hair. So if you got like a large soft edge brush, you're going to paint like that. You want to go ahead and right click. Okay. We want to bring our size really small here about the size of a hair and you can use the open and close brackets as well. There we go. You can use the open and close brackets on your, on your keyboard as well to get about the size of a, br a hair. So I'm just going to kind of like draw this around and, you know, try to try to mimic one of this guy's hair. Um, all right, and that, that size looks pretty good. So we're, let's see, I'm gonna right click. We're at a size of four pixels. That looks pretty good. And our hardness is at zero. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So these are, these are looking like, like individual hairs. So I'm just on a new layer painting this stuff. You know, that's the goal basically. Make something that kind of looks like hair. Now, I am using a pressure sensitive tablet, which makes this easier. You can totally use a mouse as well if you need to do that. Now, once I have like a, a general shape that I'm like, okay, cool, this is, it's looking kind of like hair. What we want to do, let's go ahead and clear this layer. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control or Command A to select everything, select all, and then hit delete, and then it's going to clear the layer. So we've now, we have a brush that's going to look like one individual hair. We want to go ahead and zoom in and for cutting this area out here, just kind of, you know, seeing basically we've got a brush stroke that kind of looks like that. I'm just going to try to do that with my brush tool, like with, you know, one stroke. And I, I want to try to get like a nice smooth, you know, stroke out, brush stroke out of that. And that looks pretty good right there. So um, basically just like do this a bunch of times until you're like, oh yeah, that one looks good. Okay, so now that we have this individual stroke, we're going to be able to use this uh, to basically cut out hair. So we have this individual brush stroke here. You can see it's just black. It's on its own layer. Now, the first thing we need to do, we need to turn this, this brush stroke, right, this long thing that just looks like a piece of hair, we need to turn that into a custom brush. And then once it's a custom brush, we can like duplicate it a bunch, and that's where it becomes a lot more handy to actually cut out this hair. Now, here's a side note. In this case, we've got uh, a dude with like kind of spiky up hair. So when I was doing the brush stroke, I wanted to like duplicate that type of hair. But if someone has curly hair, what you would want to do is like draw a little bit of a curly area. If someone's got wavy hair, you could draw a wavy area. And you can do this many different times with many different types of hair as well. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to like actually turn this brush shape into uh, turn the hair into a brush and then we're going to use it to cut out his hair. 
So when creating a custom brush in Photoshop, basically what you need is a white background. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna create a new layer. Okay, let's put that new layer under our brush layer. We need a white background behind our brush. So I'm just gonna use my marquee tool. Uh, we'll hold down the shift key to make it a perfect square. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit shift delete and that's keyboard shortcut for the fill dialog. We're gonna go ahead and say fill that with white. Okay, you can also go to edit and down to fill and then fill that with white. So basically what we see is we have a, a black hair right here on a white background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and center this hair. So it's, we still have this layer selected, the white background layer. So to center the hair within a selection, just hit the move tool, V for the move tool, and I'm gonna center it vertically and horizontally. Okay, so basically what we've got is our white background with a hair on it. Now, when you're creating a custom brush, you can put anything you want inside of this white background, inside of the white square. If you wanted to you know, create something that looked like a flower, you can create a custom brush that then looks like a flower. In this case, we're doing hair. Okay, so we have that selected. Now what we're gonna do is go to edit, and I'm gonna go down to define brush preset. Now, whatever's in my selection here, that's going to become the brush preset. So we're gonna click there. You can see a little preview of the hair itself here. It's gonna tell you that it's gonna be 151 pixels. Okay, and we're just gonna call this hair one and hit okay. Okay, so that's the idea. Basically, we've created one uh, brush stroke, which looks like one piece of hair. And now we've turned that into a brush preset. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into the brush settings. I'm gonna show you how to actually turn this into what looks like many different pieces of hair. And then we're gonna use that to cut out the hair. Back in Photoshop, let's go ahead and deselect by hitting Control or Command D. Now we don't need these two layers anymore, so I'm gonna make them invisible and we'll just make a new layer on top of everything. So now what we wanna do is actually use that brush we just created. So I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool, okay? And it's gonna automatically default to the brush we just created. If you don't see it, just simply right click when you're on your brush tool and go down to the very, very end. And here you can see if I hover over that, it's going to say hair one. Okay, so if, as I click and drag here, you're gonna see basically it's creating a bunch of little hairs, okay? Like just like what we created. Now that's pretty cool uh, to start, but where it gets a lot more useful, let's go into window and down to brush. Okay, you can put a lot of settings into this brush that are gonna make this a lot more interesting. So let's go ahead and turn on shape dynamics, all right? And we're gonna turn our size jitter up a little bit. That's gonna make some of these hairs larger and smaller. So what we're looking for is variation here, right? Hairs like psh, goes everywhere. We wanna make sure we have some variation within our brush because we're gonna use it to cut, cut out the hair. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn on our scattering and we can just scatter these up, up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and scatter to both axes. There we go. So you can see the hair just kind of like scatters around there. Again, looking a little bit more, um, a, look, a little bit more random, just like hair does. And let's go ahead and turn a little bit of angle jitter on there too. If you turn it way up, you'll get something like this, which I don't recommend, but you know, something maybe like two or 3%, you can see each of these individual lines is like, they're, they're a different angle. Um, and I'm gonna turn on my roundness jitter as well. So now what we're really seeing is a hair that's pretty, you know, that basically looks like human hair. Uh, let's go back to our brush tip shape and I'm gonna bring my spacing down. There we go, so we can actually, all right, looking good. And I'm gonna bring my scattering down too. Let's bring the scattering down to maybe about 20%. All right, there we go. So that looks pretty cool. Now, what we're getting basically is, you know, like hair that I can then like paint in any area. Okay, so we've got this hair. It, it looks like hair now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save this brush as it is. So here within my brush menu, we're gonna go to our top right icon. This is the menu icon within Photoshop. Okay, and we're gonna go down to new brush preset. Okay, and we're gonna call this hair final. Okay, perfect. So we've got hair final now. This is, this is really nice hair that we can use to cut out our subject. Now, as a bonus, you're gonna be able to download this exact brush. So just go to flurn.com to this episode. You can find that in the link right down below from this episode, and you'll be able to download this exact brush so you can pro like practice it and work on your own cutting hair out. So 
Now that we have the brush that looks like hair, most of our hard work is done. So let's go ahead and show you how to take this brush that looks like hair and use it to actually cut out the hair of our subject. Jumping back into Photoshop, we've got this layer that I just, I was using this basically for test. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that layer. We don't need it anymore. I wanna keep my brush window open. Now, earlier, what I did is I used the pen tool to cut around my subject. So we're gonna go ahead and load that as a selection right now so we can start the cutting out process. So we have a great episode on using the pen tool. You can find it in the description right down below. What I'm gonna do for now is we're gonna to go to my paths, I'm gonna to go to my work path that I've already created, make this selection, and you can see, I've with my pen tool, I've gone around my subject and I've ignored the whole area of his head and hair and things like that, because we're gonna use that with the brush tool. Well, let's hit okay there. Now, basically that's going to turn the bottom half of our subject into a selection. So remember earlier, we said, when you're thinking about cutting a person out, think about it in two steps. One is the body and the face, things like that, that you should use the pen tool for that. And the second is the hair, which you can use the brush tool for. And there are other techniques for cutting out hair as well. Okay, so now that we have the body selected, let's go to our layers, okay? I'm gonna click on a layer mask on our subject, and you can see his body is, well, it's cut out from the background. Now, let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click on my adjustment layer icon, Go to solid color and we're gonna go to white. So we'll just bring that right down below. Okay, so now we have a white background and our subject is cut out from the background except not his hair. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Now, what we're gonna do is use our brush tool on the layer mask of our subject. So let's hit B for the brush tool. We're, we've got the same exact brush tool and I'm gonna paint on the layer mask here where my subject is. So you can see I'm just painting white on my layer mask, and this is basically painting in, you know, what, what looks like hair. Um, <laughs> it's not perfect, I know, and we've got a little bit of work to do, but you get the idea. Basically, you're just gonna paint the hair in from the subject. Now, in this case, I can't really see much of what's going on with my subject, so I wanna make sure to turn my layer mask on and off just to make sure I'm actually cutting out my subject. Um, a little Quick tip, if you click on your layer mask here, okay, and then go to Window and down to Properties, there we go. You can actually control the density of your layer mask here so you can see what your original image looked like. And you can always bring your density right back up there, okay? So it's just a quick way for if you are like painting in, you know, uh, the hair of your subject and you're like, I can't even see what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> this is a good way to kind of get back on track there. All right, so I'm just kind of painting this in, get a general idea, and we're gonna bring our density uh, all the way back up to 100. Cool. So here we have a pretty rough idea on our subject being cut out from the background. Now the great thing about this method is that the, the outline of the subject's hair, I mean, it, it looks like hair. If I hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask, I mean, that's what my layer mask looks like. I mean, it, it really does look like you know, individual hairs. Now, this is not perfect, and you'll, no you'll notice that all the hair is going in the exact same direction right now, okay, which obviously hair does not actually do that. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw this like a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more than, um, more than what we need to like include part of the background and stuff like that. So just to show you guys how this works, let's go back to our brush tool, and I'm gonna click here where it says our brush tip shape. And here you can actually change the angle of your hair as you're going. So for instance, for this type of hair, let's say I wanna make, you, you can see the bit of the background visible, right? Let's go ahead and zoom in. Now I'm gonna paint with black. So black makes the layer invisible and white like makes the layer visible, okay? And I wanna kinda angle these little brush strokes to where they're similar to the actual hair of my subject, to the direction of the hair there we go, of the subject. And let's just go ahead and paint that, paint that black to have that disappear as well. But you can see, basically we're drawing in a new edge using that brush shape. Okay, so here on the top, for instance, let's say we had, you know, this hair is not there. What we wanna do is we wanna change the shape, change, sorry, rather change the angle of the hair to reflect the original hair angle. There we go, and we can have that angle kind of come in here as well. So we can change the angle, you know, a few different times and we'll get 
what's known like a very natural hair variant. So up here at the top, let's just go ahead and paint that in. There we go. And you can see we've got hair that's leaning the other way. So let's go ahead and rotate it around and we can paint hair in that's going to be leaning the other way. There we go. All right, and then we've got some hair here on the top that kind of sticks back the other way again. So we're just going to go ahead and do that and make sure we're painting with white here and kind of paint those in as well. All right, and then we can go to the side. All right, and I'm going to rotate this around so they're kind of straight up and down. And then I'm going to paint the hair back in visible on that side. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our layer mask. I'm going to hold Alt or Option. Okay, Alt or Option and take a look at our layer mask. And you can see what we've done is we're able to create hair coming from multiple different directions on our subject. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we can go in here. Now, if you want to turn on your shape dynamics and turn on a little bit more angle jitter, it's just going to give you a little bit more randomness and then you can kind of paint it in there and that'll just give a little bit more of a realistic effect with hair. So again, in this example, we're using hair that's, you know, pretty like spiky and just kind of like sticks up and stuff like that. But obviously when you were cutting out hair, the, every single person's hair is going to be different haircuts and hairstyles and things like that. So, um, it's definitely going to be dependent on the hair of your subject. So you want to make your initial brush into the exact same shape as one of the hairs. Okay. So zooming out, there we can see we have our subject perfectly cut out. Let's hit F for full screen. There we go. And let's go ahead and zoom in. We have our subject perfectly cut out and we've used our custom brush to basically paint in his hair. So you can paint black on the layer mask to make it invisible. So you can do that from like going into the background and then just paint white and just go with the direction of the hair. And it's the perfect way to cut out hair using the brush tool. All right, not too bad, right? If you guys want to do this on your own, just follow these key steps. The first thing to do is create one hair. Now you can use your brush tool to do this. Basically what you want to mimic the hair of your subject in this brush stroke. Then go ahead and create a white background behind it. Go to edit and down to define brush preset. This is going to allow you to capture that shape as a brush. Next, it's time to open your brush settings. Here you can add scattering, you can add shape dynamics, you can make the hair look how you want it to look. And what I would recommend is go ahead and just do a little bit of a test on the side of your subject, get something that looks quite a bit like their hair. And then once that's good to go, go ahead and save that brush. When it comes to cutting your subject out, I would recommend doing this in two parts. One part being the body, which I would recommend using the pen tool for that. We preloaded a selection for this episode. And the second part being the hair, which again, we've shown you how to do this. Basically the idea is to paint with the direction of the hair of the subject. Now you can change the angle of the hair to match your subject's hair. And of course you can change your brush size. You can make these larger and smaller. It's a totally regular brush. You have a lot of control here. Today, I'm going to show you how to cut out hair using a tool. <laughs> cool. All right guys here. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning how to cut out hair using the brush tool. Now, keep in mind, you can download this exact brush we used from this episode. Just follow the link in the description right down below. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on the Flurn logo on your screen right now. We'll send you free tutorials every single week. And if you're really looking to take your skills to the next level, check out Retouching 101 through 301. It's our all time best selling pro tutorial and it's sure to take your retouching skills from beginner all the way to advanced. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll learn you later. <laughs>